Oh, a bit of a come down from Madrid, that was it not? Yeah, big come down. Um, back to old ways, really. Um, I th I, do you know what? The worst thing is, I actually thought we played quite well yeah, in the first half, especially. But also in the second half, I think Matic playing made a big difference to the game. Took control of the game in certain in certain aspects. We were very sloppy. Um, with the ball again, but we just are all the time now. You, you said it there, Ollie. There. It seems to be likes of Burnley first half, Middlesbrough. When we're playing well and creating chances, we don't seem to get a result. Yeah. When we're when we're average and poor, we seem to be able to get the result. I mean, we can take a lot from performance and the way we moved the ball in the first half. For Alanga and Wan Bissaka linked up well, mm -hmm. but. If you haven't got a forward who can put the ball in the net, Holly, it's just going to continue getting frustrating, isn't it? Yeah, I've said that for a few weeks now. Until we're consistent on every every like stage of the pitch and week in week out, we're not going to get anywhere. We, we, we're consistent. Like I did, I agree with you. I think Alanga and um, Wan Bissaka played really well together. I think there was a lot more fluidity to our game today. I think we did link up in like with, with a few players. We did link up quite well. For Pogba played well in the first half with Alanga and Wan Bissaka. Um, we could see early on into the second half that it wasn't working going down the left of Tellez, which is why he obviously brought on Sancho. And then as soon as we kind of start looking like we're going to make, do some damage, he takes Tellez off for Luke Shaw, who I thought was, wasn't great when he came on. And then Rashford is the same as always. He's lost his impact sub, um, impact sub title now for me as well. He's rubbish on the pitch when he starts and he's rubbish on the pitch when he comes on. And Ronaldo, I'm sorry, I love Ronaldo, but he was terrible. He yeah, I mean, there were a lot of moaning groans regarding Ronaldo. I'm, I'll admittedly say that I've been one of them who's been criticising him over a few weeks now. It's like, the, the issue we've got with Ronaldo is we cannot clearly play to how he needs to be no. played. I mean, it's, it's either drop him It's or, easy to set up against Ronaldo. Yeah, that's the problem. It's either drop him or try and play away otherwise yeah. we're playing with 10 men it would seem most of the yeah. time that seems harsh I know it's a harsh comment but I'm not seeing enough from him and I don't see how it improves with him in the team right mm. now he's going to have them individual moments like we've seen against Brighton which are great but when you're trying to build something is he the right man to be in there yeah that's the trouble I mean look at all the options we have I don't know how Cavani's exactly. getting away with doing what he's doing he was at the box in the other night I think he might have a niggly injury but it's, it's not good enough like we've got no striker at the moment um Bruno well, six was, forwards in the end there, Holly, not one yeah, natural striker. Yeah, and you can become too congested in the th in the yeah, like towards the end there as well. There was too many people trying to have their moment and it was just being deflected people. off defenders. But to be fair I have to say I thought the defence was very solid today. Yeah, I, I we mean it was really like to Watford, but they were organised, weren't they? Well, yeah. we never we never really overly concerned, was we? No, and I think we looked very confident on the ball in defence as well, because obviously Lindelof and Varane are both ball playing defenders. Um, I thought Wan Bissaka looked good today, still a little bit sloppy. Um, Fred was good off the ball, horrendous on it, but well, that's just Fred. What's new? To, yeah. yeah, we have to get used to that. But he did, he did work hard off the ball, and I was sat more pitch level today, and you just, you see you see Bruno, like he, he does run a lot, but I thought he was non-existent in the second half. I know he had to drop deeper because obviously Fred four, two, and Matic four, came yeah, off. In the end. But like you kind of get to the point where you see all these subs coming on Rashford, Sancho, Luke Shaw and you know they're not going to do anything like with the West Ham result that was lucky I think to get the to get the, the goal we're not always going to do that like look at Arsenal the other night come from one behind to score two We, I think if we carried on playing for another 16 hours we weren't going to score it was just one of them days but I've had a few enough. of them days though Holly now yeah in that now <laughs> Does that? Does it feel like we're hearing Europa League music instead of Champions League yeah, music after definitely. that now? <laughs> Thursday night football's back, I think. <laughs> oh no! It's, yeah. I mean, you look at next month's fixtures. Are there any oh. hope? We've got, we've got the biggest. We have got Liverpool. We have got City away. We have got Spurs at home. We have got Atletico at home. Yeah. Come the end of March, could our season be over, Holly? Yeah, I think so. We've gone from saying that United can get a result sometimes, like you know, last season we took some, we took points off City. We didn't take. We took points from Chelsea. We're not going to do that this season. We're, the cracks too 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 wide for us this season. Yeah. We're not going to. We're not good enough. We're really not. Like you saw it against Atletico on Thursday, on Wednesday. Any team that will actually come at us and play the ball around us, we're there for the taking easily. We shouldn't have got a result on Wednesday, but we did. But it's not always going to happen like that. That's it. Like I said, when we play average, we seem to get the result we want. When we actually play half decent. We can't finish our dinner and we end up walking away disappointed because of the result. I mean, mm -hmm. it's criminal that Watford have taken four <laughs> points of us this season. I'm yeah. still convinced they're going down. Yeah. And 
if you cannot beat Watford home or away in one season, probably tells you you shouldn't really be in top no, four. No, you don't it? deserve it anyway, especially not when you get the likes of Arsenal coming out and like giving performances like that every week, and Chelsea and stuff like that. We're not good enough to compete with them teams, and it, we deserve to be where we are. We didn't deserve second last year, and we deserve where we are this year. I'll let cheers for coming on as always. Thanks for having me. <laughs>